We cook everything in our air fryer, so today I wanted to share with you five delicious carnivore air fryer recipes. I'll also share with you the macro breakdown for each meal, including the fat and protein percentages and the calories. An air fryer is a must-have tool for any carnivore kitchen, and today I wanted to show you my air fryer, the Tasty. Tasty originally sent me this unit for free so that I could put it through some rigorous testing a couple of months ago, and if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I only promote products that I've actually used and tested and that I love. I put Tasty through its paces over a couple of weeks and it performed with flying colors. It now has a permanent place right here on my countertop. I have not pulled out my old air fryer since we started using the Tasty and I think that's a testament to just how well it cooks. I'm very happy to have partnered with Tasty Air Fryer. They are the sponsor of today's video and if after I show you the features of this bad boy you decide you want to pick one up for yourself there's a link in the description along with a coupon code Jenny30 where you can get $30 off of your own Tasty Air Fryer. So let's walk through those features. Let me show you why this air fryer is different than anything else on the market. And then we're going to get to those recipes. First and foremost, I think the coolest thing about the Tasty is it's built in temperature probe right here. This enables you to cook your meats to the perfect temperature every single time. So let's swing this thing over right here is where you're going to insert the end of the probe like that and then you just stick this into whatever meat you're cooking and you will get the perfect temperature every single time. We're going to be using this temperature probe in a couple of our recipes today so I can show you exactly how it works. All right, I'm gonna leave this plugged in over here for a moment and move on to the beautiful display. This display is super easy to clean and also super easy to use. I think if you have something on your countertop full time, it better look good. And that's one thing I also love about the Tasty. It's very well designed. Let me walk you through this display screen because it's super, super easy to use. So you turn on the power button and then on the top, you have five presets and then you also have air fry, slow cook and dehydrate. Let's just click on air fry real quick. You can you can see here in the center there's a little screen that shows you the temperature and you can adjust Fahrenheit and Celsius right here and then you've also got your time so let's adjust this let's say I want to do 400 degrees and then you hit this little arrow and I want it to be for 15 minutes so I'll adjust that right there this button right here is super super cool this is a light the tasty has a built-in light inside and let's press it just so you can see there's a window in the drawer so you don't have to open up the Tasty in order to see, hey, is my food, you know, where it needs to be? You can just turn on the light and look through the window. How cool is that? The Tasty has a five and a half quart basket. So the air fryer I was using before had an eight quart. So I thought mm, maybe this is going to be too small, but it fits the exact same volume of food I was cooking before. So I was able to cook eight big chicken wings, 26 ounce ribeye, two really big pork chops. I can fit those in here. So I have not experienced any kind of like reduction in the amount of food I'm able to cook with the smaller basket. I find that it's the perfect size. And then also there's this little wire rack that comes with it. It's one of the accessories. So you can put this inside of the basket and it will elevate anything that you're cooking if you really want to have the air circulating a lot more around it. So I actually don't really use this, but I'm assuming there are people out there that would love this rack. Again, if you'd like to try out a Tasty for yourself, head to the link in the description and use code Jenny30 at checkout to get $30 off of your own Tasty air fryer. All right, walkthrough is done. Let's get to these air fryer recipes. Let's start with a breakfast, shall we? The first recipe is an air fryer egg bite. We're going to be using these little silicone cups. So I've melted a little bit of butter and I'm going to paint the inside of each of them so that the egg mix doesn't stick. Next, I've gathered a bunch of leftover meats from breakfast and lunch and things like that. I'm gonna add them to the little cups. I've got sausage, bacon, cut up pieces of ham, like slices of ham. I think this is Applegate. It doesn't have like a bunch of added ingredients. And then I'm also adding some chunks of cheddar. Then I'm going to crack eight eggs directly into a measuring cup. So it's easier to pour this into the silicone molds later. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this A2 half and half. If you're not using dairy, you don't have to use it. I'm not typically using dairy either, but today to show you this recipe, I'm gonna add a little. I'm using my immersion blender to get everything mixed together and frothy. And then I'm going to add some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. Again, if you're not using any of these particular spices, go ahead. You don't have to use them. That's totally fine. I'm going to pour this into the molds and we used almost all of it. Now, if I had had one more silicone mold, this would have worked perfectly, but I only had seven. Next up, I'm going to preheat the Tasty to 350 degrees. And once it's been warming up for about a minute or two, I'm gonna open it up and 
and carefully place all of these silicone molds inside. After about five or six minutes, I open up the tasty and I'm going to stir these. There's a little bit of a cooked crust that's formed on the top, but the inside is still very liquid. After another five minutes, I'm going to do that again. And then they started to puff up. They're really looking good. I think I cooked them for a total of 13 or 14 minutes. I really just eyeballed it. Let's use these little tongs to pull them out. And then I'm going to grate some of this cheddar on top. They come out of the molds very easily, so that's nice. And I like to top these with a little bit of sour cream if I'm doing dairy for that day. I'll typically add a little bit more salt as well. And two or three of these along with some breakfast meat makes an excellent meal that keeps you full for a really long time. A serving of three egg bites is 352 calories with a macro breakdown of 62, 36, two. With 21 grams of fat, 22 grams of protein, and 1.5 grams of carbs. Next up, let's make a steak. I'm cooking a steak in the Tasty probably two to three times a week. It's super simple, so let me show you how I like to do it. First off, I season my steak. This is a 16 ounce ribeye from Costco. I seasoned it with salt on both sides. Then I insert the temperature probe. Now you have a decision to make. You can either use the steak preset on the Tasty Air Fryer, or you can just air fry it. If you use the steak preset, you pick what cut of steak you're doing, what doneness you're looking for, and that's it. I personally prefer to use the air fryer setting to cook my steaks. So I'm going to set this to 430 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to let it just preheat for a couple of minutes in the beginning. Around that 12 minute mark, I'm going to put the steak in. Listen to that sizzle. Make sure you're putting the temp probe end on this side and kind of tuck the cord in right here so that the drawer will close. And then I just pay attention to the temp and the time. About halfway through, about six minutes in, I'm going to flip the steak and that's pretty much the only time I flip it. Already looking crispy and delicious. Let's check the steak through the window. It looks like it needs about a minute more. And now we're in the 120s for temp, so let's pull it and we're gonna let it rest. Look at how juicy this steak is. And yeah, this is exactly what I wanted, medium rare to medium. And I love the crispy fat on this, so tasty. <laughs> tasty, <laughs> literally. A 16 ounce ribeye is 1,315 calories with a macro split of 71 to 29 fat to protein with 104 grams of fat and 95 grams of protein. Let me show you how to use the temperature probe one more time. This time we're going to be using it for some pork chops. First off, I'm going to season the pork chops with garlic powder, salt, and some smoked paprika on both sides. And then I'm going to insert the temperature probe into one of them. For the pork chops, I'm going to use the pork preset. So you just press this button right here and then you scroll through your pork options. I think chop is the first option. So we'll just leave it there. Then I'm going to put the pork chops in and you know make sure the temperature probe probe is in the right place again. And then I'm just going to follow the instructions from the Tasty. It had me flip them one time and they're looking really good. And then I ended up flipping them, I think one more time and they were done in about 12 or 13 minutes. Pork chops are one of those meats where if you overcook it, it's not very fun to eat. It ends up like a hockey puck. So it's really important to get the temperature right. So anytime I'm cooking pork chops in the Tasty, I'm always using the built-in temperature pro because they turn out delicious and juicy every single time. A serving of 12 ounce pork chops is 810 calories with a macro split of 51 to 49 fat to protein with 44 grams of fat and 95 grams of protein. Now I wanna share with you my famous chicken wing recipe. This is actually my husband's recipe, but I got sick and tired of waiting around for him to get home from work to cook it. So I just started doing it myself. I totally stole it from him, but it's delicious. I'm usually buying chicken wings when they are 50% off at the grocery store. You know, they like have to be sold by that day. So I'm getting these for like a dollar, dollar fifty a pound. I just put them in the freezer and when I am ready to cook them, I pull them out. We're probably eating chicken wings once, maybe twice a month. And every single time we are cooking them in the Tasty. So we've got our thawed chicken wings along with the spices that we're going to use and some butter. You could also use avocado oil. I actually think that works better, but today I'm going to show you how to do it with butter. I'm going to pour this melted butter all over the chicken wings and then just mix it all up to get the butter 
butter on each of them. This is just so that the spices will adhere to the chicken better. Then I'm going to put garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, salt, and black pepper. I don't measure this. I just go by eyeball amount. And again, if you aren't using any of these spices, just, you know, omit them. I'm using this plastic bowl because then if I need to microwave it, you know, that butter can get to be a little bit too solid. Then I can just throw this into the microwave for 30 seconds to get it to be more liquid again. And then I'm going to mix it all up again and add more spices if I need to. Next up, I'm going to turn on the air fryer to air fry mode at 420 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 minutes and let that preheat for a couple of those minutes. I've layered the wings with their wing tips towards the center and I'm able to fit six to eight wings depending on the size of the wing. Around the halfway mark, I'll flip these and they are already looking really, really good. These are almost done. I'm just going to give them a couple more minutes. Look at the caramelization on these chicken wings. They are so delicious. These are super simple to cook and they come out perfect every single time. It's almost impossible to mess these up. Let's get the rest of these into the Tasty to cook and then I'll show you how these turned out. Now, I like to use the Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce. This one is made with avocado oil, so it's the best solution I've been able to find for buffalo sauce without having to make it myself. And here's the end product. So delicious, so easy. A serving of 20 ounces of wings is 1,083 calories with a macro split of 6238 fat to protein with 72 grams of fat and 62 grams of protein. Finally, I wanted to come up with a recipe that had something to do with tacos. I absolutely love tacos. So I did a bit of brainstorming and I came up with what I'm lovingly referring to as taco balls. So bear with me, this recipe turned out so, so good. And it's actually my favorite of the five recipes that I'm sharing with you today. We've got about two pounds of ground beef and my pre-made taco mix here. So here are all the spices. I will put the amounts in the description so you can see, you know, what you need to put in here. But this is going to make a couple of servings. So I've just got a little Tupperware dish that I leave up in my spice cabinet that has this pre-made taco spice. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the taco spices to start, and then I'm going to mix it all up with my hands. And I think I'm going to add another tablespoon or two. I really want this meat to be super taco flavored. Then I'm gonna take this baking sheet, put a sheet of parchment paper on top of it, and then put that aside. We're gonna use that later. But for now, we have to make the filling for each of these taco balls. So I've got half a cup of cotilla cheese and half a cup of cheddar. I grated these both myself. I'm going to mix those together in a bowl, and then I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of that taco seasoning into this cheese as well. Then I've got two tablespoons of cream cheese that I have softened in the microwave. I'm gonna mix that into this cheese here so that everything is nice and sticky. I'm going to roll this mixture into balls and then I'm going to make tiny little flat circles of the ground beef mix and I'm going to basically make a meatball. I'm going to stuff the cheese in the center and wrap the ground beef around it. Now let's turn on the air fryer. I'm going to set it to air fry mode at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 minutes and then just let that preheat for a couple of minutes. I'm able to fit nine meatballs at a time. And after a couple of minutes, I just want to come and check and see how these are turning out. These are looking really, really good. So I'm going to turn them once. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes and I'm able to turn the light on and check on them here just to see how they are cooking. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes and then I'm going to flip them again. And now you can see some of the cheese is coming out. These are almost done. I'm going to let them cook for one more minute. And these are perfectly cooked. Let's cut into one and see what it looks like. And oh, Oh my gosh, look at that melty deliciousness. Holy smokes, that is tasty. Now let's make our taco ball bowl. I'm going to take a bowl and then put some sour cream in the bottom. I'm going to put in four meatballs and then add a little bit more sour cream on each of them and then grate some of this cheddar on top. I had never made this recipe before I actually shot it for this video. I had just come up with it in my head. I was really hoping it turned out well because again, I love tacos and man, it blew it out of the park. It was delightful. I'm definitely going to be making this recipe again. And I really, really think you should try this one if you try any of the recipes in this video because it turned out so, so good. A serving of four taco balls is 751 calories with a macro split of 7326 fat to protein with 58 grams of fat and 46 grams of protein. And that is before I put on any of the sour cream or just the little bit of shredded cheddar at the end. That is just the taco balls themselves. I'm using my air fryer probably four to five 
five days per week. I am so, so busy. You know, I, this is my full-time job. YouTube is my full-time job. So that's 40 to 60 hours a week of work there. Plus I'm a twin mom, you know, running a household, being a good wife, all that stuff. You know, it's a lot of work and I don't want to be spending a ton of time in the kitchen. So the air fryer makes my life so much more simple and I love it. I really couldn't live without it. If you end up trying any of these carnivore air fryer recipes, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think and let me know if you make any kind of improvements or add different ingredients or anything like that. I'm always looking to try out different recipes. And if you'd like to try out a tasty air fryer for yourself, head to the link in the description and use code Jenny30 to get $30 off of your own tasty air fryer. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.